Hi everybody, this is Nefer Sayu, the Righteous Shepherd. Um, it is October 12th, and so much for me being able to do a weekly vlog, but I'm going to do my best to catch you up between weeks 33, and now we're going into week 36 of my pregnancy. So, um, <clears throat> it's been very stressful here lately. It's like I'm at the last little bit of my pregnancy when I need to be the calmest and people decided that they wanted to be very very rude, evil, ugly people and put me through a good deal of stress for no good reason. No, even if they didn't like me, they're doing this to an unborn child, but we'll get into that. Maybe. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Weeks 33, I noticed some very strange things happening. My boob was like deflated and uh, I couldn't find any medical reasoning for that. They said that they should get more fuller, sometimes they don't change at all, but in the beginning stages of my pregnancy they definitely got way fuller. Well then, at the beginning of 33 weeks, or toward the middle of 33 weeks, just like almost smaller than pre-pregnancy, you know. Um, so I went to the forums and I went to Reddit and I did find a, a handful of other women that experienced that. Uh, they said by like week 35 they were back up, they were full again. Um, I did find out that perhaps it could be not enough nutrition, so I definitely upped my calorie intake at that point. But um, it does, they do seem to be coming back now in my 35th week, going into week 36. So fingers crossed, it's like my biggest concern is, is I want to be able to breastfeed my new baby because I didn't really have a good experience with breastfeeding my firstborn. Do you have to make noise the whole time? Mama's trying to get her babies out, out the window. And they don't need to go outside, they don't. No. Shh. Anyway, so, um... Week 34, I went to the local fair. I hadn't been anywhere since we evacuated for the fires, and um, my son really wanted to go to the fair, and I thought this was like the last chance that we would have to um, go together and be doing anything as a family for a while. We had the opportunity to go. One of my friends was entering her um, foods into the fair, so she wanted some you know, support and everything, so we got to go. And apparently during that one night when we were out for maybe, I think it was a grand total, we were gone for eight hours. By the fourth hour, I had a neighbor texting me saying, you know, it's not fair that your dogs bark all night. And my husband kind of got into it with her. He did call her Karen, but that's the worst thing that he said. And she decided now that she's going to call animal control on everything. And, you know, so far it's been unfounded. They haven't been barking at night. I told her, if they're barking at night, there's a reason. And the reason that they were barking that night was because I did not follow protocol, and I didn't say goodbye, and they know that I am pregnant, and they were really worried, so they did their worried bark. By the time that I came home, by midnight, they were shut up, and they barked for a little bit when I first got home, and then they haven't barked. And they haven't barked at night since, they don't bark during the day. I have many live streams. They've, they've lied to animal control about things, and it, it's just, there's one thing that triggers me on this planet. It is authority. And, you know, it's animal control specifically because they did me dirty back in 2017. And I haven't recovered from it. And I get really, really, I honestly get really triggered. And it's like, I know that that is thrown around a lot, but it puts me into a state where I can't even function because I was done wrong by them in the past. And my body remembers that. And I know where I fucked up and I don't want to do that again. But also in the 34th week, I got sick, um, probably because I went to the fair, either that or my son brought home uh, some sort of thing from school, because of course that's been going around. Um, I, I got a little bit of a fever for a couple of days and I had uh, some respiratory issues, but they're passing. 
I still have a cough from time to time and it's kind of loose and deep, but it's definitely, it's definitely not as bad as it was. Uh, let's see, yeah, going into the 35th week is when animal control showed up and started giving me all the stress. And, um, yeah, that's like a whole mess and that's a whole other video series, but it is, it's very much affecting my pregnancy. Um, I've now started having cramps and I'm starting to have like much tighter Braxton Hicks contractions and even some painful contractions. And, um, you know, we've just been documenting the whole thing, waiting for animal control to show up by live stream and um, showing that there's nothing going on here that need, that warrants them being here and that we do deserve our privacy and we do deserve to live our life the way that we, our, our ancestors laid down and so fit. We're heading into the 36th week and um, I'm starting to get heavy and I'm starting to get tired and I don't really want to do a whole hell of a lot and we're kind of preparing spaces just in case I decide to give birth early due to these stresses and everything. I'm hanging in there and uh, pretty soon I'm going to be going offline completely. Uh, maybe Long Walker will do some updates, I'm not really sure. I will be doing a pregnancy pre-birthing vlog thing, showing our experience having natural birth and everything, but it's probably not going to be um, available until a few weeks after the birth process. So. I have a cat doing that the whole time. Yeah. So there's your recap. So week 33, deflated boobs. Week 34, um, fair sickness and Karens. Week 35, lots of stresses. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the update. I hope that everybody is doing well and I can't wait to share this experience with you further. Namaste. Have a great day. Don't let the bastards wear you down.